Front Row MMA here at UTC with Aaron Lavelle, who, quite frankly, sorry, Ali, sorry, Ian, should be main eventing the UK Amateur Championships for Fight UK. Um, a great fight. Uh, how's training going so far? Oh, it's been going great, man. Everything we've planned to do, we've done, we've got a great work ethic. All of us here, we push each other, and we're all, we're, we're a big team, we're a family, man. And we've done everything, 100%, everything. You know, I say it should be the main event for the simple reason both you and Jack uh, have, have proven yourselves to be, uh, you know, exceptional at, at, at what you do. Did, did, did the fact that it was a main event and, and now is a comment, does that, does it, do you care at all? Does that bother you at all? I didn't even know until you said it. <laughs> I don't care, really. <laughs> Sorry, Ali. <laughs> Jack's a dangerous opponent. What do you know about him? Um, I know he's a good judo guy. He's got a good sticky top game, really. Um, yeah, that he's got, ain't got much stand up. I know he's going to look to take me down, but every opponent looks to take me down. So it, I've been training with the best here. I'm training with Vaughn, so if I can handle Vaughn sparring every day. Sorry, did you just say you you can handle you handle Vaughn sparring every? <laughs> if I can handle myself against Vaughn, <laughs> then I'll, I'll, I'll reward myself. Now, nah, um, yeah, if if, if I'm uh, proving against Vaughn. Uh, he's having trouble taking me down and he's having trouble submitting me. I don't see him really doing much more than a professional UFC fighter, to be fair. So. Again, th this, has been, uh, this has been built by those people in the know as, well, maybe a fight of the year contender but because of your style. Are you, are you approaching this fight any differently than you've approached any other? Um, I'd probably say for my first few, I was more relaxed knowing... The opponents were, there was other, the, my first two opponents were unbeaten, but they're not as good as Jack, let's be serious, but um, yeah, man, I've upped the work rate for this, I still train hard for any other fight for this one, but I've got that drive now, now it's for a bout, obviously it's going to add more um, pressure and make me want to win more, really, so just going into every training session, 110% motivated. Now, it's, you know... <laughs> You're not yet 20. I, th I don't think you're yet 19, are you? You know, is uh, you win this title, is there any rush to go pro, or do you want to spend another, you know, another 12, 18, 24 months honing your craft? Is there any rush for you? No, nah, there's no rush. I'm not even thinking about it at the moment. I've got ages, man. I'm still young, and I don't want to rush into it and then f fucking lose, you know. I just want to just see where it takes me. I've still got a few years yet, and we'll see where it goes with it. I, I have to ask the question, because uh, here's the question. You know, how do you, how do you kind of, I know, again, you're still only 18, 19, you, but how do you, how do you plan on supporting yourself? Are you going to, are you plan on, do you plan on ever getting a job <laughs> while, while you train before you go pro, or is this going to be, <laughs> or is this, is this the career path, and you're going to take your time getting it? Um, yeah, I, I, I've got a part-time job now, like, supporting myself, but th that's the career path, that's the aim, I want to be a professional fighter, that's what I want to do, enjoy my job fight for a living man that's what I want to do that's what my that's what my life so far has been de dedicated to so that's the aim and yeah, well, not looking past Jack because that fight is still six weeks away but you know what do you see yourself doing over the next sort of nine months after this fight what, what's next for you on fight again really I want, to, I want two fights I was meant to fight uh, couple about three weeks back on Leon show but the show totally messed up so um, that was blown out of the water and now um, Obviously, I've got a fight with Jack, and after that, I'll, I'll preferably a fight before the end before Christmas. But we'll see how it goes. I want to fight. I'll see if I can get matched up. But this, you know what it's like the pull out and everyone ducking everyone in the fucking MMA. So we'll see how it goes. But preferably, yeah, I'll have a fight before the before Christmas, and then just carry on fighting. I'm I'm gonna ask this question because I know at some point I'll have to do a tap out challenge with you, so you can get your you 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 can get your own back then. Fight UK is a great event. It's a great event for, for the Midlands and for local MMA, but there are shows like Cage Warriors now that are putting amateur fights on their undercard. Is there, is there any drive or desire to, to sort of move up <laughs> and I'm not trying to, I'm not disrespecting Fight UK, it's, an, a, it, it, it's, not, it's a brilliant promotion, it is a brilliant promotion, but if Cage Warriors came, came calling, is that, you know, would you say ta-ta to sort of the, the more regional shows? Um, oh, I don't know really, um, I haven't really thought about that, but 
I don't know, Fight UK has done a lot for the amateur game, to be honest, because it was I had my first fight on there, and ever since they've kept the UTC especially, and the fighters here interested, and they publicised the show well themselves, so I, I don't know, really. I'll have to see, but they've done a lot for us so far, so we can't just totally diss them like that. Yeah, I mean, again, I know I waffled. They, they are a good show. It's yeah, yeah. just done. So, 18, you got a title fight coming up. I hate the fact he's 18. I, f I fucking hate it. We got, you got a title fight coming up. You won another fight before Christmas. Uh, what's stopping you from going pro? Nothing really. I just want that experience because uh, there's a lot of guys that they think, oh yeah, I've won what seven, seven and no. Oh. I could name a few, but I'll leave it out. And the GoPro and they think they're going to be the best thing, and then they just come against someone that's actually a challenge to them, and they get chin. So there's no real point. So I just want, I want to, I want to test myself now while I can. It's only amateur for lose or lose. So while I can, and when I'm pro, that's when I want to start really getting like want to start showing everyone what I can do and. You also keep you, you. You've been competing in in, Thai, in kickboxing tournaments, boxing. You, you, you're staying busy outside of MMA. How important is that to your MMA game? Um, very important because whenever I'm not here, I'm at other gyms. Like I'm at my dad's boxing gym. Whenever I'm not here, I'm doing other shit. So, whenever I'm um. Like whenever I'm got an MMA fight, there's a couple of months out, and because the weight cut's different as well with MMA, I have to cut a lot more weight for MMA. Whereas boxing, it's only about two kilo, which is nothing really. So I'm boxing more regular when I'm not fighting MMA. So it's like I'm always fighting, no matter what, really. So if you don't see me fighting MMA, like this is my first fight this year, MMA, and I've had like four fights this year boxing. So whenever I'm not doing this, I'm doing summer. You, you say you've had more more boxing fights this year than MMA. You know how frustrating is it that you know th that they are finding it difficult to match you up in terms of people wanting to fight in the first place? Does that does that bother you at all? Um, yeah, it's pisses off everyone I think. <laughs> there's about there's about four or five fighters here that have been matched up and it just like Rocky he was fighting he was training five weeks and a week out he's in his he's in peak condition and the guy pulls out for some stupid reason and he's fighting like two weeks later, it's bullshit. But um yeah it pisses off everyone really but you has got it's MMA, it comes with the game, it comes with the sport and I know whenever I'm if a guy pulls out, like that's what I've been doing. When a guy pulls out, I've been fighting boxing, get a quick match of boxing anyway. So that's what happens. I think it's not unfair to say stylistically, you you, you fight rather like a Diaz. Uh, you know, long leading uppercuts. You know, you, you're striking, and the way you move forward is that is that your style, or have you sort of watched people and sort of taken little bits from others to make your own? Um. I don't know, I think sp I, over the years, I just all I really, when I first started them, right, all I had was a jab, and I was like, and then I started putting together with my kicks and my takedowns, and it just flown really. And I watched the Diaz, I really liked Diaz anyway, so watching him, it kind of helped. Hence the facial, when you see like the, the Diaz go to guy. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, really. I, I, I idolized like Anderson Silva and try his kicks, watch, watching flipping Barbosa spinning kicks. We, do, we all mess around and try and train ourselves, like all of us. We just, we just put it all together and see what works, what flows, what looks good, really. Does it, does it bother you? Because uh, I've asked other fighters. Does it bother you if people make that kind of that connection between you and somebody who's? Does it does it bother you that I said, well, you fight kind of like a Diaz brother? No, man, it's a compliment. <laughs> awesome. Look, Aaron, I appreciate your time, and we look forward to seeing you fight again. But before we let you go, is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Anybody you'd like to thank? Um, all, all the lads that have helped me train from the UTC, Mark, all Rocky, Natty, Vaughn, Yannick, Silk, Asim, all the lads here. Yeah, anyone I forgot. You know, I've got you, man. But, um, yeah, I'm going to win the fight. That's it. And apparently he can handle Vonley, so it's all <laughs> right. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it, mate. <laughs>